a trophy. Christ always leads us in triumph as trophies of his victory. First of all, let's say, I'm a winner. I'm a champion. Why? Because the champion is living in you. No, I'm not, not, not speaking to you. I'm just speaking to them. <laughs> you must choose if you want to enter the kingdom also as a child. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I'm a champion because the champion is living in me. Hallelujah. Let it be so. And when God takes us, he wants to brag about who he is through your life. So everybody do this. Uh, one of the holy ones also. <laughs> now that is a trophy. The trophy you take and you put it somewhere. And that is God is putting you in the school. God is putting you there at the job, uh, at the place where you work. There you own your own business. There in the school, teachers. What? And he's putting that trophy there to brag about his victory. And that you will brag about him. So let's not look at ourselves first of all and say, oh, I'm failing in this. I'm successing in this. I'm failing in this. No, 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 no. You're a champion because Jesus didn't fail. Amen. Because 100%, he got 100% in what he came for to earth. And that one that came as man but also as god is living in you that's why one john 4 4 says you have overcome what does that mean not you gonna overcome you have already overcame overcomes why because greater is he that's living in you than he who is in the world that one that overcame all sin, all flesh, all weakness, death itself, and hell. He's living in you. He's living in you. Tell your neighbor, he's living in you. Ah, tell your neighbor, he's living in you. Today, you can point the finger to your husband. He's living in you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, when we are looking at the children and celebrate with them, when we hear it, parents, congregation, when you hear, it's not just, oh, nice, the child is like that, the child is like that. You know what we need to hear? Lord, help me to be like that. Lord, help me to be like that. With every child, say, God, that is your, oh, they're talking about your character. God, they are talking about your character. And I choose today that that will be part of my life. So let it not be a session, and you're awake when your child is getting something. Hello. But let's, what is spoken over the children, first of all, let's agree. Where two or more agree. It's not just giving it to say, this is what you've accomplished. But when we, when two or more, there's more than two, I think. When we agree that so it will be for every child, we put that child in faith before the Lord. What you sow, you will reap for your own children that's even not here. Some of them in the school, but some maybe not even here. And that's also what you pray for many other people with their children. That so it will be that the next generation, the qualities that are, will be mentioned, that will be spoken over the children today. Let's speak that over the next generation in our nation. The next generation in Russia, in Ukraine, in wherever. That the next generation will see the glory of God. The next generation will see so much more of God than what we have seen already in our generation. Can I have an amen on that? Amen. Let it be so. So, the name of this trophy, that's now your name. If you have a pen here, uh, you later, we, we can give you new ones. We're going to give you later um, ones that are uh, not paper, but will, you can put in your Bible somewhere or put on the wall or somewhere so that you will always remember and you put your name there the name of this trophy is Piet Laveskagni Christ always leads us in triumph as trophies of his victory let it be so in Jesus name amen a trophy is not putting the focus on the trophy the trophy is putting the focus 
on the one that accomplished something. Amen. And so you, you in our lives, may we always put the focus on Christ. Because then we are more. Everybody say more. more. Another time, more. more. We are more than conquerors through Christ. Through Christ who loved us and gave himself for us. Let it be so in Jesus' name. The last one. Everybody say, I am a letter of Christ. Let's try that again. I'm a letter of Christ. Ready to be read. Or hidden in an envelope. Now that's quick. Let me first say that. So, According to the word, people will write on your heart. And sometimes people can say nasty things. And other children can say nasty things. And we can sit here and some of us know about some teacher or some friend or some other children in the school that said nasty things. And even 30, 40 years later, you remember that thing. No, man. No, through the blood of Christ, it must be canceled. Amen. For your lives, but for their lives also. Even we as parents, we make mistakes. Man. Then maybe one or two of us get angry. You know, and then you don't say the right things. May God help us through the blood of Christ that it will not have an impact, that it will be wiped out through the blood of Christ on that on those hearts. Amen. But who will write on the hearts of these letters? Letters from Christ. Letters from Christ. Let it not be the circumstance. Let it not be my success is writing something. May it be the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit always be the ink, according to the word, to Corinthians. Always be the ink. And God is writing. And teachers, may we stand in the fear of the Lord. Parents, may we stand in the fear of the Lord. Because we are writing on the hearts of our children. And some of that could stay there for the rest of their lives. Because what we write wrong, when they forgive, the blood of Christ can wipe it out. But they need to forgive them to, to wipe it out. That's what we said wrong. That's what we did wrong. But to say, God, we need your help. We need your fear on our lives so that we understand this is not our children. This is your children. They are your children. And what we write on your property, what we write on what belongs to you, we need to be careful. We need to respect that. God must help me for the mistakes I made, for the mistakes you made. Teach us for the mistakes that we made. Hello? But every supervisor, every, every monitor, every man and woman involved with children, but for the respect for God, God, I'm going to write. I'm writing on the heart of this child that belongs to you. This son, this is your son, this is your daughter, and I'm writing on their hearts. And may it not be the ink of demons, ink of rejection, ink of, of performance. They must perform. Then they know they are accepted. We only give them applause when they are doing very good. We give them applause because they are who they are. Because they are because of the one who were very victorious, Jesus Christ. And so when you take that pen and you, that ink, and you write on the hearts of your children, say, Holy Spirit, guide me. No ink must flow from this pen unless the ink is the Holy Spirit, according to the word. May God help us. Thank you, Father, for who you are. Thank you, Lord, that we can enjoy you and who you are in and through our lives. God, you are so excited about us, but we ask Guide us as parents, as leaders, to write with respect on the hearts of your children, on your sons and your daughters, Lord. But we need your grace for that, Lord, because we already made mistakes. Forgive us for that, Lord. And I, we pray for your mercy and your grace on every child, even sitting here as adult, to forgive that teacher 
40 years ago, that parent 20 years ago, that said, that did certain things that really, really hurt us. This morning we forgive. We forgive so that the blood of Christ can wipe out what is written on this letter. But God, that people will read our lives, read our lives, that Bloemfontein will read our lives. There at the workplace, here in the school, they will read our lives. And they will clearly see that you alone are the answer. That you are the truth, the way, the, the truth, the life. And that your life will be found through our lives as ambassadors of Christ. So we pray, even this morning, as we further now this morning celebrate who you are in and through every child. In Jesus' name, so we pray. All say, Amen. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah.